Hey everybody, so this is the ninth week of Once a Mallard, Always a Mallard and as I'm sure many of you are aware this man needs no introduction to our club because he's currently one of Harry's right hand men at the minute uh, Assistant Manager, former player Emmett Friars, how are you Emmett? Good to have you on Okay boy, how are you? Not too bad, thanks uh, So Emmett, first question for you tonight um, what made you originally sign for this club? Originally I was, I was at Crusaders and I had just had a knee operation we just won the league the year before previously and I had to get myself fit. Well obviously I've been a really good strong squad up there. I knew that I had to get out and play and, and Stephen Baxter said to me would you look going alone? I said yeah and I knew Whitey previously. I'd had conversations with Whitey so what I'd done was I actually sent Whitey a text and said Whitey are you looking for a centre back by any chance? And uh, he rung me straight away and said, yeah, we'd, we'd love to have you down. Do you want to come down for a chat? And one well, thing led in R and I signed on loan originally. And from the moment I got down here, I just loved it. You know, I, I really enjoyed my, my time here as a player. And um, I just, I always tell this to people from the moment I arrived, I felt at home. You know, and it was, uh, it just felt like the right fit for me at the time. So, Emmett, um, uh, you've played for quite a few um, clubs. Have you any players in particular that you say would be the best player you played with? That's a tough question, boy. Um, I play with a lot of good players around the league, um, but at this club, there's there's a number again. You know, you have the likes of James McKenna, Kevin Beacon. Uh, we're all great players in the squad. You know, but I think probably the best player that I played along with this club is probably Shane McCabe. You know, he was the same as me. He was at the tail end of his career. But you can see his quality and his leadership on and off the pitch. Um, a winner, a born winner, along with a lot of guys in that group, you know. Um, and that's what we really had in that group. We had a real good bunch of players that once they won games and um, were, were good experienced players as well. And I think that's what got us through in the end that year that yep. we, we stayed up in the playoff. Um, um, obviously, I know what club you played for. Um, through obviously being a football nut, but uh, quite a few of the younger viewers might know, so do you want to um, give viewers an insight into where all you've been throughout your career? Yeah, so I um, started off as a, as a young boy at Foyle Harps, up until I was 16 when I moved to England, went to Notts County for, for four or five seasons. Then when I came home, the uh, first club I joined was Newry City, which was a great experience, a great club. and. Um, my introduction to the Irish League. From there I then went to Derry City uh, for a few seasons before then signed for Dungannon. Um, from Dungannon I went to Port of Down, Port of Down on the Crusaders, then from Crusaders I was here at Ballin Mallard and then it was Ards after that and then Ballamina and then I finished up and Mary Lee Cree and the Mavari in the Championship. So quite a number. Yep. So Emmett, uh, you then find your way you love to hear a lot. Once you come back do you want to tell viewers a wee bit about uh, that and how you're in the role you're in today and maybe a wee bit about how you're finding that etc? Yeah, um, I'm back here now as a coach so what happened was I was having a chat with Derek Sharp one day and he in passing said um, would you be interested in a reserve job and straight away I said yeah um, and the next thing I had a phone call from Harry and we had a really good chat about coming on and taking the reserve team and I had a great year with the reserves which then, at the end of that season, how I uh, had approached me and asked me would I be interested in coming on the first team, which was last season. Um, I've, I've had a fantastic year learning from Harry and, and Craig and, and watching. Um, everything goes on and, and, and cut my teeth as a coach as well, because I've always wanted to be a, a, a coach and a manager, so I'm, I'm learning from one of the best. So it's been a great experience so far and, and a great club where I've been well looked after. Perfect. So Emmett, as you've alluded to, um, you're back on the first team coaching staff and you're signed on for another year again. Do you want to give uh, supporters an update as to how uh, the current pre-season's going and how the boys are maybe after the result of Chumri at the weekend? Yeah, so pre-season's going really well. The, the lads are working really hard. I think um, we're in the session 12 tomorrow, we've just had our first game against Chumri at the weekend which um, was a great workout for, for the lads. 
um, having a really good shift. You can see the energy, the hunger, and the, the desire to do well. The boys are looking really fit. You can see them getting stronger every session. You know, and it's just a matter now of getting the games under our belt um, and working hard in between. So we've got a really big weekend coming up this weekend with two games Saturday away at Coleraine, which is a really tough test. And then later on that evening, we'll go and take an hour squad to Port Stewart for a really difficult game on Saturday. You know, so the boys will have a big weekend ahead, but they've worked really hard now. Um, the attitude's been outstanding. You can see the, the hunger and desire from the lads. They, they try and improve in last season, which is what we can really ask of them. And I suppose that leads in step by step, really, to the big kickoff now on the 5th of August, the Welders up at the Blanche Flow. Yeah, um, couldn't ask for a tougher start, really, a way the Welders. Not, easy, not an easy venue to go to, um, with them finishing really well last year, and you can see them building. But, you know, there's no easy game for the Championship. They're all difficult. And Never is, is it? No. And, the truth of the matter is, is any game that you would have had, you, you would have been looking at it going, that's a tough start. You would like the home draw yeah. for the first game, but that's the way it goes, you know, and um, we'll go there with you know, with no fear, we'll play, we'll play the way we always play, um, with bravery, and, and um, hopefully we can get a result. All the best of luck for the season ahead, Emmett, and thanks for coming on. Cheers, boy.